Hello everyone. Well, we often hear people say things like, you're a fascist, that's a neoliberal policy, this is truly radical feminism, they're a bunch of Marxists, this is a postmodern novel, or we're facing a techno-managerialist takeover of a public institution. We read or hear or use such, such terms as liberalism, feminism, environmentalism, and many others all the time. We use these terms as shorthand descriptions, or to help us reach conclusions about policies or events, or we use them as insults, and of course in many other ways. But what do those words mean? For example, how exactly is a policy neoliberal? Or in what precise way is a particular attitude fundamentalist? What would we ourselves say if people asked us why we think a conservative response to, say, a national education plan raises significant challenges to the plan. Well, there are at least two good reasons for learning about ideologies. The first is that we can then ask for, or insist on, and understand the explanations we're given. Or we can show that the people using ideological labels don't know what those terms mean, or that they're even trying to deceive us. The second reason is that we would be much better placed to understand the wider forces that shape our lives. We could put more incisive questions to our elected representatives and our public service officials and others in positions of authority, whether public or private, about what they plan to do, about what they actually do, and about why they do things the way they do them. We would gain a deeper and clearer understanding of the answers they give us or of where they're evading our questions, or of how and why policies succeed or fail. That is essential to our being citizens in any form of democracy. And in other systems, it can be crucial to our very survival. In democracies, we can see how the state often recognizes the importance of public accountability. India, for example, has a Right to Information Act we could start to see how different laws, even within one country, express or embody different ideologies. By studying ideologies, we learn different ways of making clearer sense of events, institutions, and political cultures. We would also make some surprising discoveries. For example, the neoliberal thinker Friedrich von Hayek argued all his life against state planning, but he favored a public welfare safety net. We might also wonder what Hayek might have said about the fact that after the 2008 global financial crash, the many governments which claimed to be neoliberal poured something like $3 trillion into rescuing the private banks which had themselves caused the crash. As for Karl Marx, it's not widely recognized that he hated violence and that he often walked out of organizations which advocated violence. In addition, we don't often realize that, for example, extreme fundamentalist groups which loathe everything about modernity and modern society couldn't do without the latest technologies, such as the internet, or targeted advertising and PR techniques, or high-tech weaponry. Therefore, a knowledge of ideo ideologies that is, of the ideas they express of human nature and of society and politics, helps us to understand our world much better.